Agosti ya tarehe tisa na moja mwezi wa Februari katika kaunti tano ulionesha kwamba idadi ya wakenya wanaunga mkono chakizo la kutaka katiba ifanyiwa marekebisho imeongezeka kutoka asilimia arobaini nne miezi michache iliyopita hadi asilimia sitini na tano feel that there is need to fill the gaps and address the shortcomings of the constitution that is the gray areas uh, 38% on the other hand believe that there is need to reduce the number of representatives to cut back on public expenditure. Wa Kenya mianane kutoka maeneo manane yaliyo kuwa mikoa ya umo nchini waliojiwa. Asilimia sabina saba ya wa Kenya wanafahamu kuhusu mjadale wa mabaliliko ya katiba. Huku wanawake wakijitrakeza kuwa kundi la raia wasio kuwa na ufahamu wa kutosha kuhusu mchakato huu. Support for the proposed referendum has increased in every region apart from central province where we now see that there are more people opposed to the referendum now than they were as it was in December. Again, support for the referendum is higher amongst men at 71% compared to women at 55%. Pendekezo ilo kufanya katiba marekebisho ilinaungwa mkono na wakenya wengi katika maenewe nyanza, pwani na kaskazini mashariki. Huku maenewe kati na mashariki ya na idadi ndogo ya wakenya wanaunga mkono mchakato uo. Coast region and northeastern region have cited the issues of historical injustices, issues of land and issues of resource allocation. Wanaunga mkono umetaja masola kama vile mapungufu katika baadhi ya vipengee vya katiba ya sasa haja ya kupunguza nyathfa za uongozi serikalini pamoja na bunge kuwa ndiyo sababu kubwa wanayotaka mabadiliko hayo. Na kwa leo na upinga hoja kuu inayojitokeza ni kwamba mabadiliko hayo wende katumika kwa faidi watu binafsi kwa kubuni nafasi za uongozi swala ambalo ni mzigo kwa Kenya. Shadrach